Hello and welcome. Well, have we got a treat for you? We are talking gyro cut for the next hour. And as you can see here, Noel is already busy with his cutter, creating the most incredible cutout by hand. Just wanted to do that little pop at the end there. Just had to do that. Oh, oh, just as you do there. Now, I've got Karen with you. Come and join me, Noel. That's incredible to see how that cuts. Just like using a pen. It is. That's exactly what it's like. Just like using a pen and it cuts like a knife. That's our strap line. I love this. And uh, we'll be seeing more from that. Obviously, we've both got both Karen um, and Noel with us here. But tell me a little bit about the company, how it all came to be. OK, well, we're a very small craft company. Um, the product was originally invented by my father. OK. Um, the idea was to create a, a safe alternative to craft knives and scissors that could be used in schools okay. originally um, and then once we realized how how successful it was and how appealing it was <laughs> we sort of rolled it out into the craft sector mm -hmm. and the hobby sector and we haven't really looked back it's well, been uh, it, very yeah. well accepted so. and karen i mean you can reiterate this as a crafter that the applications that we've got this is phenomenal exactly that it's really versatile it'll work with anything from tissue up to uh 240 gsm car wow all sorts of things in between, including photographs, mylar okay. and acetate for making stencils. And the biggest thing, one of the biggest things about it is how light and easy it is well, to move is around. Yeah. You don't need a whole machine yes, to be yeah. doing all sorts of different things. And obviously we don't suggest you do this at home, no. but it is a lot safer this to is use. This key thing. Now, yeah. um, we've got some fabulous demonstrations coming up and I know that you're going to be doing some for us as well. <laughs> they are going to be incredible. I can feel it in my water. So I'm going to let you get ready if that's Thank okay, you, Karen. Course, and lovely. if you don't mind, Noel, we'll have a little chat about the bundle. So I'll see you Thank in a little you. while. Definitely. So the bundle that we've got for you, we've got all the details on the screen already for you to get started with. So obviously you've got the gyro cut that we saw in action and then you've got your bottle of, well, St bottle of what? Sticky metal adhesive. Okay. We'll be talking about that a bit, bit later, but it's um, a very useful, very versatile, adhesive that uh, you're going to need to use so love it so of course with those three elements which you'll be explaining us, um, to us all about you can do things like this so quick talk about what we've got on the board here okay so this is karen's artwork not mine i'm not that uh, artistic unfortunately <laughs> but these are things where she's done some scrapbooking by cutting shapes out and adding them together um making uh, sort of present tags gift tags um, cutting tissue paper, setting wow. it onto something else. This is a, a little seahorse cut out of tissue paper. Um, a, a, a card here using the gyro cut for cutting different circles, types of card wow. circles yeah. and making a very nice little card there with a little tag as well. We've got a little bit of vinyl here, that's, adhesive vinyl. Yep, sticky back vinyl. Um, it's a sort of sparkly version which is very nice and that's been cut out by hand um, for a 21 obviously. Yes. Um, so it, it does cut a wide it's variety incredible of Incredible detail materials. and perfect cutting with that as well. Yeah, and again, <laughs> down at the front here, I mean you can see loads of different applications. Things like paper cutting which is one of the kind of things that people love to do at the moment. Traditionally done with a scalpel. Yeah. Very very time consuming, is, yep. very tricky to do. Can we do that with this? All of that can be done <gasps> with a gyro cut. Look yeah. at this. If you look at this, this um, elephant uh, artwork here, who's camera companion on yeah. that, hopefully, um, this is actually cut from a single piece of orange paper. Wow. So what Karen's done is she's cut the inside features out first of all, yes. and then cut around the outside the profile of the elephant. My and goodness. That, so that's one continuous, very narrow strip of orange paper that she's then set onto a background. Now you can make that into a nice card or a nice picture mm -hmm. if you frame it. But it's amazing the level of detail that you can achieve with the gyro cut. And one of the things that struck me when we came into the studio is this black um, uh, frame that we've got here. Very contemporary style artwork Indeed. in there. I love yep. this idea. And th these are actually quite cheap to buy these, these sort of black frames. But they've yes. got quite a depth to them so that you can create... Um, layered artwork um, and build it up with gaps in between but in this case Karen's done a very nice um, cut of a, f a couple of different flowers I think they're chrysanthemums. She's not right the way through has she? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, not so I'm not very good on flowers but I think they're chrysanthemums. <laughs> You're getting mums. a nod from, uh, from exactly. Karen for that. Good, good. <laughs> Beautiful effects and of course this is something that you could be doing from any artwork that you've got something that you've hand drawn yourself maybe it's something you've stamped um, but you'll be learning lots of different techniques in the next few moments so uh, we will show you what you can get because not only have we got the bundle very keenly priced I have to say £21.97. I don't know how this. you do those prices I really don't it's an incredible price so I'll be buying one myself today, actually, at that <laughs> price, so uh, go for it, definitely. Well, all you need to do is jump on our website, Noel. Absolutely. Simple as that. Jump onto the website and you can add that item to your basket, as you can see there. Um, 
and that, now there's loads that you can be able to do with this so we will show you this as the hour progresses but you can see they've got some additional bits and pieces you may well have come across gyro cut before and wanting to stock up on things like your sticky mat adhesive um, or maybe go for an extra tool they are all there available for you on the website and you can see just how keenly priced that bundle is to start with at 21 pounds and 97 pence if you're wanting to go down that route of course the key thing is when you get it home what do you need to do and that's why we have got Noel here at demo area to talk us through that so what do we need to do okay so the first thing you need is a, a cutting mat of some sort this is a self-healing mat that we use um, you can use a variety of different types of mats including glass mats but obviously a glass mat will degrade the blade much faster so we recommend a self-healing type of mat um, we've got our sticky mat adhesive product which um, is essential really to stop your paper or your card moving around while you're cutting it okay um, and of course the gyro cut um, with the uh, blade fitted um, we you do get a spare blade with the kit today okay. so that's a good one if, if you're using that blade sort of regularly let's say every day on, on pa paper so 90 gsm paper that blade would last you about three months oh, right. okay so then once the blade um, degrades you just take it out with a pair of pliers Simple just pull that. the blade out it's just a push fit you get the new blade from the blade pack push it into the holder and that's it, it's ready to go. So no unscrewing or no, tightening or making it's sure it's aligned. Fit. Exactly. Perfect. If it's not fully engaged when you put it into the holder, you can just push down onto your mat. Okay. And that will fully engage the blade into the holder and you're good to go. It looks a very sturdy blade as well. It is very sturdy. It's made of hardened steel, um, so it has a, a um, it's very hard, it's, it has a long life and as, as Karen showed you, it's designed not to cut your skin in normal use, mm -hmm. but obviously don't try that at home. But it's, yeah. it's um, very specifically designed with different angles to make it safe to use. Now, we saw you do that fabulous spiral at yep. the beginning of the hour. We've got uh -huh. some paper here. Is this 90 GSM paper 90 here? GSM. Okay. It's, it's just photocopy paper. Um, you can use a whole variety of different types of paper. As Karen said, right up to 240 GSM cards, like Christmas card thickness, birthday card thickness. Mm -hmm. This is ordinary paper. It's now been held down by my sticky mat. Okay. Um, the idea of the sticky mat is not to hold it so much down vertically, but to stop it going sideways. Okay. Um, because, as I'll show you in a second, we're going to use a lot of sideways force when we're cutting. Mm -hmm. We don't want the paper to move because that would spoil our fun. So okay. if I now do a basic cut, um, you can see how we can actually turn the blade very, very easily and quickly. Nice. And it will follow the direction of my hand. It doesn't appear that you're using a lot of pressure there. No, it's, it's a, I, would, I would call it medium pressure, it's, it, but that. it's difficult to explain how much pressure you're using. But it, it, you need to make sure that you're using enough pressure that you cut consistently through the paper or the card. Okay. Um, if you're cutting thicker card, um, then you obviously need more pressure. Mm -hmm. um, if, you, if you're cutting tissue paper, then obviously a lot less pressure. But it's important to have the sticky mat. So if I just show you very, very quickly, how we actually make the mat sticky because okay. um, that's one of the questions we get asked quite regularly. If I take a brand new mat Lovely. and take it out of the packaging, okay. If you would like to just confirm that that is not a sticky mat, I feel like mat. I'm a magician's assistant <laughs> here. Do, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely not sticky. Okay, so we put that on here. We get our sticky mat adhesive okay. and an old piece of kitchen sponge. So this is you know basic kitchen sponge. I cut them into three mm -hmm. pieces and that's about the right size. Just shake the bottle slightly put a small amount of the adhesive onto the mat. Okay. Literally, um, each one bottle like this will do about eight A2 size mats, so it wow. goes a long, long yeah. way. So we simply take our sponge and spread the adhesive over the surface of the mat. Okay. It's white when it's wet, but it'll dry clear. And this adhesive is great for all of the machine mats. Now, I can't mention oh, any names. Oh, right, yes, I know the sort you mean. Any machine that uses a sticky mat um, it'll lose its stickiness very quickly usually if you're using it a lot and you can re-sticky it with sticky mat adhesive so now I've spread it over the mat I just mm -hmm. finish off by dabbing it okay that gives it a little bit of texture yeah and, and it means that it'll work more efficiently so we just dab the whole surface very very quickly and then we just put that to one side to dry for about 20 minutes and that's, um, that's it. And it'll be ready to go, but if, you, if it's not sticky enough for the material that you're going to be cutting, for example, if you're, if you're doing a lot of card or mylar or acetate, you might want to give it two coats. Okay. It depends on how, how sticky you want it, but that should be good enough for doing tissue paper actually, now. I can see it's already starting to dry. It'll though. dry very quickly yeah. and that'll be ready to go. So that Wonderful. will put it, put it to one side. So you've already done that with the mat that you're <coughs> working on. Exactly. So um, another thing that we get asked a lot is, um, well, we, we, we get people saying that they've bought the product 
and for whatever reason they can't get on with it. Okay. So um, it's more, it's mostly about how you hold the, the gyro cut and how you um, keep it orientated. Oh, so, I see, okay. So it's actually got the pin, a pinch point molded into mm -hmm. it and we hold it on that pinch point. Now it works right or left handed. Oh, I see, yeah. And you, we then keep this part with the, the bit that holds the blade vertical. Mm -hmm. That's very important. Okay. So if we put it onto the paper, yeah. and push down mm -hmm. and then just do a straight line towards yourself right. it, you'll see that it's cut wow. perfectly now if you don't push down hard enough you won't get a consistent cut and there it hasn't cut properly right okay so the telltale is if you're pushing the, the right pressure you it'll leave a sort of a dark line behind it which i'm not okay. sure oh you can yeah, see you it can on see the camera you okay, can yeah. kind of hear it as well as you, you can, can hear see. it cutting yeah. as well and you can feel it cutting yeah. as well so that once you've got that consistent um straight line cut and you know you're using the right pressure then you can sort of progress on to the wiggly cut just to make sure that you're using the right action now I like all the terminology the wiggly curves <laughs> yeah it's a very technical term <laughs> um, one of the issues that people have is if they use a scalpel a lot um, they tend to use a lot of wrist action mm -hmm. with a gyro cut you don't need to do that because the um, the rotational action is from the bla from the blade rotating oh I see yeah so oh, if, yeah, I, you can see it if I hold it by the blade you yeah. can see how it rotates oh wow <coughs> Look at that. And I'm noticing as well when you are actually um, drawing with the blade, because it is in effect that's what you're doing, yeah. um, you've not got a tight grip. Whenever I've used a scalpel, I, I've noticed a huge amount of pressure in my hand and in my fingers yeah. trying to keep it on track to where I need it to cut. Well, we don't need to grip it very tightly because your hand can't slip down it. Yes. The way that we've, we've d designed the, the tool, my father designed the tool, is that your hand can't slip down it, so you haven't got to hold it so tightly. So once you're using it, it's very comfortable and Look easy to that. use. That is amazing. Oliver, can I have a little go with the one? Of course you one can. Here, yep. So, so you're holding just... it correctly. So okay. push down and then just do a straight line off the edge. That's the right pressure. So let's just double check. That's perfect. Wow. So now starting here with the same pressure, so do the left and right wiggle bit. And you're not kind wiggle. of moving much. That's it. You don't want to. Now okay. you've been using a scalpel because you were, you were bending your wrist slightly there. Okay. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter, you still get the same effect, but you're just wasting energy by doing yeah, that. Okay. So <laughs> if you do the wiggle from your elbow, like okay. you're using a pen, and you'll, you, then that's it, and then you'll find that it cuts perfectly. That's a good tip, actually. Using and you're the using elbow. less energy to do it, basically. So that's a, a beautiful cut that you've just done there. Wonderful. And um, you're ready to prog progress on to the next stage. Well, what would that be? Shapes? So we're looking at shapes yep. that you can do so, with this? Um, if we just get, oh, get rid of lots well, of paper see. here. Um, if getting it, busy for this, folks, as well. The details are on your screen. Just £21.97 for your bundle. You're going to get your, obviously, your tool. You're going to get your uh, replacement blade as well as your bottle of adhesive to make your mat sticky with this. Self-healing mat. So if you've got one of those already, then off you go. But, of course, check out our website. I'm sure we have got those on there. But 444101. If you are wanting yours, as lots of you are, £21.97 being your price. Bargain. So we've mastered the wiggly lines and the straight lines. OK, so here's a top tip okay. um, we've got a, a, a ruler we actually produce this ruler but you could use any any sort of plastic ruler um, when you're using that with a gyro cut or any other sort of cutter you'll find that the ruler tends to try and move as yes. you're cutting yeah. and that, that that means you don't get a straight line mm -hmm. so what we've done is we put sticky mat adhesive onto the edge of our ruler clever um, you just literally use your sponge smooth a little bit of it along just a very small amount let it dry again for 20 minutes and you can see that or feel that oh, that's, yes. that's sticky on the edge yeah you don't need to do the whole face of the ruler, just part of it. Then when we put that onto our paper, run the gyro cut along the edge, you get a perfect straight cut and the ruler doesn't move. I'm wondering whether that sticky, um, the sticky adhesive would be good on my, um, my uh, quilting rulers and things like it that. It would, it would be Obviously perfect for that. Obviously the tool, not, yep. not recommended for fabric, I'm guessing. No, that's right, but um, yeah, you could definitely use sticky mat adhesive on, on, your, on, your, on your ruler yeah. when you're using your rotary cutter and it'll stop it from moving around. Because it always kicks out at that last moment and I think it's the pressure that you're putting on it, it slides with Absolutely. your fabric. Well, a lot of the people who uh, do quilting uh, and patchwork, they actually do use our sticky mat adhesive on their mat. Now, originally or initially they they they're reluctant to do that because yes. they don't want the adhesive to go onto their fabric but yeah. in fact once this is dry it won't transfer to your fabric okay so even when you're using a rotary cutter it'll stop the fabric from moving while you're cutting clever idea yeah okay so that's that's doing a straight line and then if we wanted to do a circle we can use a circular template now we we have these templates because we go around the inside so your other hand doesn't get in the way while you're cutting the circle and you get a perfect circle oh, instantly. Oh wow, look at that! Okay, so that's it's very, very quick and easy and then you can do the 
the spiral bit again. Just draw, oh draw a spiral with the, uh, like using a pen. And then if we take that off the mat, you can use your blade to take it off the mat, then peel it off the mat like this. Now that can be quilled into a really nice rose or, or a flower yes, yeah. using a quilling tool. So if you use, use some red paper, brilliant. you can make a really nice rose very, very quickly. Yep. I love it. It's brilliant. It's just so easy to hold, so lightweight. We don't need to put like a cap or anything on that if we're taking it on our travels. It does actually come, uh, if you can see the blade pack oh, there, just a little it orange comes one with there. a little uh, orange protector okay. that goes over the edge, end of the blade. So if it's in your handbag or something mm -hmm. like that, it's not going to damage anything else. Um, but uh, it, uh, it's not really a very sharp point no, anyway, no. so Fabulous. we do recommend putting a little cover on there. Wonderful, there you go. So if you've taken it on your travels, then pop that little cover on there, pop it into your pencil case, and away you go. I'm exactly. going to have a little bit of a recap and then come back and meet Karen, okay. if that's Fantastic. okay. Fantastic, yep. Website's a place to go. This is the kind of tool that you'll want to get a couple of, because when you do start using this and your crafty friends see you using it, they're going to want to snaffle one off you. So get a couple, maybe one as a gift for somebody, or maybe one for at home, maybe one in your work bag as you're going off and doing your crafty bits and pieces at your classes. And it really gives you the ability to cut so easily. All you need is that self-heating, um, self-healing not heating cutting that and away you go you've got everything you need in that starter bundle now of course you might already have your gyro cut so if you want to stock up on that sticky mat adhesive we've got a fabulous twin pack there for 10.99 as well so they're all things worth thinking about and of course that bundle that we saw literally everything that you need now I've stepped away from the uh, demo area just to reiterate what a fabulous price this is I mean have a look at that you've got five pounds saving on this bringing it down to 21 pounds and 97 pence there you can see from the packaging you can use it in all your paper crafting, you can use it for your card making, your decoupage, your stencil making, your scrapbooking, freehand design. You could literally be doing your paper cutting with this as you are designing. Using it for model graphics as well, that's a really good point. Decals, masking off um, certain areas as well. And you can see from the packaging some ideas and inspiration coming through. And I'm sure if you check out social media and also the Gyro Cut website, you'll find even more. But it couldn't be simpler. You simply take hold of that pen, rest your, um, your index finger and your thumb in that kind of little elbow that you've got there it's all been designed ergonomically so you're holding it in the right way and as Noel said work from your elbow draw from your elbow so you're not doing it too tight not too restrictive and then you are away have a look at some of these pieces I mean things like the paper cutting that we've been looking at here in the frame you've got the most incredible design Paper cutting is one of those things that I've always um, admired. So you can see here where you've got the bark of the trees. Um, in fact, yeah, we're looking at this one, so that's okay. I'll talk about that one. <laughs> this is the one I was keen on. Here you can see the trees where they've been cut, the little tiny animals, the little, uh, you can see there the dandelion clots so much detail even down to the eye of the bird and the little wing there you are able to get the most incredible detail the blades of gra um, grass as well amazing as we work your way across that's when you can start getting truly creative this is a lovely contemporary design I've seen metal dies that have done this but you might not necessarily want to invest in a die cutting machine or have the restriction of die sizes with this you could make those gorgeous um, chrysanthemums as small or as large as you want to and as Karen has done there she hasn't disconnected those petals which means of course you can curl them and lift them up but this is really impressive the elephant that we've got here cut from one piece all the detail that you can see on the back on that gorgeous that kind of blanket detail that you've got absolutely incredible simply cutting those designs out and creating the most incredible finishes but what about in your craft applications things like your decoupage things like creating apertures even creating the letters and the text to go on your projects you can do that with your gyro cut and you can see here down to the tiniest of details created using that fabulous blade that you've got within your tool it really is an ingenious design and of course the beauty is you can use it over and over again for probably around three months if you're working with your um, paper but of course you do get a replacement blade so if you do find that you get through it quicker what about your scrapbook pages yes of course things like magazines where you've got toppers and elements you could be cutting those out just as easily as tracing them with a pencil maybe using your photographs I think Karen's got some ideas with photos as well there's so much scope with regards to this and of course you don't have to worry about the tiniest the, the feather like weight with these you can cut out with those going through to your thicker cardstock such as kind of your greeting card weight 
21 pounds and 97 pence now what i would suggest is you pop another of these tool, tools into your basket as well because you have got the ability to get it by itself and if you want it by itself you can see here you've got the cap on there as well which is going to protect that blade as you go on your travels but it just is a handy way of having an extra one saying that though for an extra seven pounds you're getting a replacement blade and some of the uh, the sticky adhesive if you're going for the bundle it's just worth, worth bearing in mind it might be worth going for two of the bundles freedom members though oh my goodness 11.99 for your extra tool that is a deal worth going for now what about the adhesive maybe you're thinking of all the other applications like i have been with my quilting rulers then maybe you're wanting to get this as well because once you start using it i've got a feeling you're going to be putting it on everything 10.99 349 174 two bottles there you can see 50 mil in each of those really is good value for money perhaps one of those bottles to keep for yourself and one for you to um, gift to a friend if you dare part with it but of course the bundle is the way the most, most of you are getting involved because you're getting all of those items in there and you are ready to go the moment it arrives 444101 being that all important item but don't forget if you've got any questions it's about 20 minutes past the hour so we have got time to answer questions studio at a chanda if you fancy getting in touch or maybe you've already got a gyro cut let me know how it's changed the way that you've been cutting out your paper elements so Karen what are we up to well I was going to basically show you a rough idea of the butterfly card that was oh, just that shown we just there got out. absolutely bring in some of the 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 the, the, the larger one on the on the sheet oh, there. the one on the, the, the wall absolutely lovely oh Thank that's right it's got an aperture in there hasn't exactly it? yeah and that was one of the things you mentioned and it is obviously something that people want to it can be tricky can't yeah, it doing absolutely. Like that, especially without a die yeah not true enough, enough. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and of course you can yeah you can you can choose your shapes as you go um so cardstock okay normal same as as on there um it's around uh 300 that one actually okay uh so you take your template, uh, place it, decide where you want your aperture, obviously. And as you saw um, when Noel did it, it will actually go round. Because this is a, th a thicker stock, what I'm going to do is take it all the way round mm -hmm. and then take it one more time oh, to make okay. sure yeah. that it's... Uh, oh, my goodness. Look all right, at so that. So nice, clean aperture there. Fabulous. For your card. And Lovely. true blue Peter style. Oh, Obviously got a couple things to say. Already. Exactly. <laughs> so the next thing we did was um, I got some. Uh, oh, some pretty vellum. Pretty there. vellum. That's nice. I stamped it on top, so I put a piece behind because obviously, often as not, mm -hmm. cards are put That's on window sills. Now, and can stuff. I just pop that down, just like Please just because so we've got the camera above us and we can see there, just perfect there. So, did you actually cut the the vellum as well? I did, but uh, it's a simple square cut yeah, at the minute. Okay. You can put a coloured piece of paper or something inside to cover that afterwards. Or again, you could cut that a sli slightly larger as a circle. Well, what I wanted to do then was create like a frame to the aperture. Oh, okay again there look so there you've got your aperture you've got your vellum sitting in there and then you've got the little frame around it That's very clever idea. like so that some, idea. see that some light card okay and again with the with the templates Wonderful. makes it nice and easy so one inside the other so you know you've got them okay you don't yeah, have to measure all sorted lovely so inside one first mm -hmm. again you can always go around that second time to just give you that Make sure you've done that. Ah, and then the and frame. Then right round. Perfect. So you've got a bit of a billy bonus because you've got the circle in the centre as well. True enough. <laughs> yeah, so you can be using that for something else, but your frame is there. Ready Cut to glue to on. perfection. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. Very effective. So and that so works simple. a treat. Wonderful. And then it's down to your butterflies. Oh, yes. Now these look quite tricky. Yeah, well, they're, they're, they're intricate, aren't they? That's yes, the thing. yeah. But to be fair, they're not that difficult with this okay. because it will move around mm -hmm. with your movements. Once you come to trust it to do that, it's not too difficult. And I think, as Noel said, it's just about practice, isn't it? Trying the different techniques, trying exactly. the different papers that you've got in your stash and away you go. Yeah. So, oh dear, you've got a little stamp. I have. And obviously showing again the benefit of the, um, the SMA. Mm -hmm. That has been stickied up with SMA. So that's a sticky mat adhesive. Yeah, onto, onto the block. Clever and idea, can you shoot it? It means that, that yeah. you can put your uh, stamp, perfect, place it on, and you know it's not going anywhere. Yeah, wonderful. That's that sorted. Uh, you choose some, pe some paper again. So I'm going to go for blues, as you Lovely. can see, I've used some of it already. And you're ready. Just stamp Straight it up. off. 
Stamp or ink it, it up, up, should I say? Ink it up, yeah, absolutely. Stamp it in place. Oh, okay. Right now, All that's done. a very intricate design. It is. Now, obviously, I'm not going to worry about the antennae. Because, to be do. honest, they're too delicate. <laughs> yes. They're not going to last on a piece of artwork anyway. That's true. So, I'm going to start with the head. Okay. And it's really a matter of, like, tracing around the edge. And you can see how it's twisting and turning as you're going around there. And you're not having to do that. It's just um, the way that it's kind of coming through the paper, exactly. basically. I've got to a thin point here, so I am going to come off that way and then back off because it is intricate at the core, at the at the bottom and okay. just due to the um the forces you know of, of moving mm -hmm. through paper yeah it's better to do it like that no and get no a cut. um we've had a question come through from somebody yeah. sadly i haven't got a name of um, whoever's um, contacted us i think it's come through the call center asking about crepe paper can you cut out crepe paper and if so i'm guessing is it on a single layer or would you do multiple layers with that because it, it, it would be a single them. layer okay and it would be a matter of holding it firm okay um, so the SMA helps, but it would obviously help if you're, you're following something so you've got as well because it still against. has some elasticity in it. Yes, yeah. Um, so yeah, and the same with uh, with napkin, yes. you take it down to one yeah. layer. Yeah, yeah. So, so that you can see that against. Look at that. All right. And how that quick was that? You cut that out quicker than it would take me to find my pair of scissors. <laughs> that I is that the problem thing. too. Yeah, it <laughs> absolutely. Is genuinely. So yeah. nice and inch cut details there wow. and obviously you just give that a gentle fold dot a glue in the middle and place it and you've got that 3d effect i'm going slightly off piece with this one so it's to vary it a... i love freebies okay this came as a freebie with a magazine well, we had um, and I've used phil bits. martin one of our um <laughs> our suppliers he yesterday had um well it was julia that was here wasn't it with the magazine there's all toppers and all sorts of things in there so absolutely yeah. so I'll decoupage that out, no problem. Well, nice. I've already done that mm -hmm. side of it, um, so I can do that if we time. Do you want to time. pop that onto the card? Sorry, I'll take, move no, that no, out of no, the way. No, no, that's quite all right. That's quite all right. if you'd finished. Um, but another thing you can do is onto parchment. Oh, wow, uh, look at that. Because, yeah. again, this is something that's tricky to cut because you sometimes get that white ghosting if you don't cut it properly. Ab yeah, that's very true. So the um, same stamp gone onto here? Same stamp gone onto here, as you can see. Um, some of it more successfully than others because I overdid the linking on some okay, of them. No, that's and you need to let them dry for a moment, minute, so uh, I did it ahead of time. Wonderful. Um, but same idea, and effectively straight round again, which I'll go for this one because it's kind of central, isn't it? And again, it's got a different feel to it. Each um, different uh, paper or, or... They've kind of got different densities, haven't they, they I have. suppose? They can be thin, but they can be a, a denser feel to them, if that yeah, makes sense. Yeah, exactly. And it is... A different feel in the cutting as yes, well yeah but it's just a matter of trying on the edge first and, and it's a bit of a strange angle that we, we've got you standing up whereas you might be sitting down and cu cutting at home yeah. or it could be well it's, it's very portable isn't it so it could be that you, you're sitting um in a wheelchair perhaps using the a, a tray a lap tray or something like that yeah i'm afraid i am that um occasionally that so i just hold it firm there because it's mostly yeah. out of there now I am there that sort that go. I will occasionally sit with it on my lap in front yes. of the TV <laughs> and do, do things. So, again, it does ma matter that it's portable. Let's have a little look at it because, I mean, that is so delicate. You'd be hard-pressed to cut that out with a pair of scissors, wouldn't you? Because not only is it tricky, but the scissors bend as well. Yeah. So you would find that as you're cutting it, you're bending the parchments at the same time. And, and True. that could have a detrimental effect on the result. But you can see they're done with a gyro cut. What an incredible result. And I'm going to bring the board in because, of course, um, there's lots of other ways that you have been working with this here. So, obviously, we're looking at the card here. Yeah. Oh, what have we got here, then? Oh, lettering. Yeah, basically. Um, obviously, I mean, this is, this is just done by hand, hence, it, it, hence it's not spot on, if you know what I mean. It's okay. not, not all exactly the same size, etc. You can print things off on, on mm -hmm. the computer or, indeed, take them from... Different bits oh, like this. So idea. if you've got printed papers, wrapping gift papers wrap. or uh, you know journal papers, whatever it might be, and and again it, it all cuts out rather nicely. Obviously that that then is is a specific font, all the same style. But if you were going freehand, I've got some of that just there somewhere. She says yes, there it is. A little bit of that gold, for example, and it is literally a matter of drawing it as you go. So uh, we'll go for. A We'll so again, nice it could be that you, you're using a stencil and going through the stencil, perhaps, yeah. um, if you've already got an yeah. alphabet stencil. If you have an alphabet stencil, obviously with the size of the blade, what you're going to have to do is uh, 
draw it through wow, first and follow the line. Wow, look at that. All right. So it's um, it just it just moves so Isn't easily. It fabulous. Corners. You've got a little tip here um, for a corner. If you get to your corner, stop. Let the blade turn and move on, and you get a lovely crisp so corner without look any. At that. Absolutely tug at all in it. I don't know if you can amazing. see that. Yeah, we can indeed. It's really a tight point that you've got on there. So yeah. absolutely amazing. And I love it. So all the aspects of your card making, your mm -hmm. gift tags, you can see here. Little yeah, tiny so it's elements just, here. Just printed onto newspaper. Uh, also, if you, if you want... Oh, is that I want washi to do, tape? There yeah, it is. Oh, now wow. that, that is duct tape. Really? Yeah, you get really pretty duct tapes now. That's normal silver one at the bottom, but this had Scotty dogs on it, and I just couldn't and resist. And you know how, how industrial... Uh, I mean, that's that's meant to kind of really work and really kind of have a yeah. tough job to do. So to be able to cut through that... It's really... Yeah, and again, straightforward. OK, well, let's have a quick look, and then uh, uh, onto the board. Yeah. And it just... And that's actually got almost like a fibre running through it oh, as it well, definitely hasn't it? Has, yeah. yeah, it's it's like a, a webbing. And you've got that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Done. So that is amazing. And you just use the, the flat of the blade to grab the corner. Just to give you enough to lift it up. So exactly. you've got the delicacy of parchment, yet the durability of duct tape, all with the same blade. Yeah. And it's phenomenal. tissue. Yeah. Um, so what else have we used? We've got duct tape. Oh, yeah, that, that was um, I cut through mylar to make the stencil to, oh, to create okay. the robin. And I think Noel's going to show us about bits. stencils, isn't he, in a moment? Yeah, mm, there you go. Indeed he is. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is going to do a very quick recap. We're going to get Noel come in and then he can tell us how we can create our own stencils. But of course, if you're adding lots of goodies into your basket and you're wanting to spread the cost, then Flexi Order is the way to go. Check this out. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. It certainly does. Now, I've stepped away again from Karen and Noel just to let you know that we are so busy for this. Lots of you taking advantage of it. Lots of you going for the individual elements as well. But, of course, the core part of the whole system is the gyro cut. This is something that was created by Noel's um, dad. He, his father um, created something. He wanted to be able to create something that had a cutting tool that your children could even use in education and in schools. And that's indeed where you will regularly find the gyro cut. The blade is brilliant. You've got a little blade that sits within the house and you actually get a replacement blade as well within this particular set and just simply holding it you can see that you've almost got that little kind of V shape where you're going to put your finger and thumb just either side just gently holding it and supporting it as you go but the little blade that you've got there is a kind of a twist and turn to wherever it needs to go to get that intricacy of that cut every single time so easy for you to come and hold just a really nice relaxed feel with that there's no pressure that you're holding this you're not having to hold it tight as Noel suggested just have a a few little goes with this quite easy when you receive it and draw it from your elbow so to speak I found that tip a very useful one to go for so you've got your gyro cut you've also got your replacement blade in there the blade that it comes with if you're using it with photocopy paper say 90 GSM paper then you're probably going to get about three months worth of life out of that blade obviously the thicker the cardstock the denser the cardstock if you're using it on a glass cutting mat it can have a detrimental effect on the blade so you may need to change it sooner which is why you've got one included in there but you're also getting your stick matte adhesive now this is brilliant you basically pop just a few drops onto any um, self heating cutting mat it could be a small a4 one you could go as large as a2 if you wanted and you basically just smooth it around with a kitchen sponge leave it to dry for about 20 minutes and it gives you a tacky but not sticky um, surface that will grip your paper and that's the key thing because you don't want the paper to move as you're working freehand with it um, and of course you can use it in lots of other applications I was inquisitive about using it with them quilters ruler please that it doesn't transfer onto fabric so I I shall certainly be giving that a go. And of course, if you have got a sticky mat,
perhaps that you're using with other die cutting um, uh, machines then it could well be that you give this a go to re um, sticky up your mat and you're getting that included so if you're wanting to get hold of the bundle the details are on your screen but as Karen was saying the applications within craft this it's well there's it's anything that you can cut basically so here you can see where die cut elements have been cut vellum elements have been cut even your sticky vinyl has been cut to perfection look how tiny that is personalization is key isn't it when you're making anything it makes it uh, that you've really thought about it really got the, um, the the kind of thought behind the project that you're making I was just blown away by the little tiny butterfly that you've got there look at your fingernail next to it nail art i bet you could create things to go on your fingernails as well if you have a look over here you can see that we've got a fabulous paper here now this reminds me of something like your graphics 45 um, paper that you get within your um your bundles and it's a good weight it's got a little piece there but it's cutting that out equally as easily as cutting out the vellum overlay that you can see there with that fabulous little seahorse there as you work across you've got a card that's been created maybe that you're cut die cutting elements decoupage sheets it vellum again little tiny tags with these personalization again and of course those perfect circles that we saw being cut earlier on let's so work our way down we've got some gorgeous vinyl here as well so if you have got some sticky vinyl glitter card stock if it's encapsulated I'm going to ask Noel about that when we get back to find out if we can cut with those as well and of course things like your scrapbooking as well perfect way and actually cutting your photographs if you want to as well really is a fabulous tool to use and that's kind of in your crafty environment maybe for projects that you're going to be creating for your gift cards but then you start talking about home decor and this is where you can really go to town i mean the elephant that we've got here with that fine detail cut on it absolutely phenomenal the kind of little blanket that's sitting on its back there the tiny detail all cut with that tool that orange uh, piece of card there is one piece of card it's a continual piece that Karen created and as you can see there the intricate detail is phenomenal as we work our way across though then we've got the chrysanthemums in kind of a very contemporary frame this could be a frame that you're kind of recycling but they're so affordable and you can see there the way that these have been cut those petals not disconnected from the backing which means you can curl them and lift them up I love the idea of that blue card behind there as well very effect and then finally paper cutting have you ever admired paper cutting but just thought I just can't get involved it's too interesting I don't trust myself with a craft knife well cutting it with the gyro cut means that you can create the most incredible detail the tiny leaves you can see on the branches here the eye of the bird the wing outline there all cut with the gyro cut and all cut comfortably the blades of the grass they're the points that you've got on there it's phenomenal and you can do that all with a tool that's going to um, just cost you 21 pounds and 97 pence for the bundle to get you started amazing amazing value for money it's a brilliant tool perhaps for yourself maybe get yourself a second one then potentially because we have got it available by itself i'm going to bring those details around for you if you wanted to go for it by itself it doesn't come with any additional blades it comes with a blade that's already in there and if you wanted to get hold of it the details are on your screen as you can see there um, you've got your gyro cut it explains everything that you can do with it there so you can see cutting your decoupage cutting your paper crafting all different elements you can cut with this so yeah just give it a go that's the key thing and at 11.99 that is brilliant value for money 267 at 555 if you're wanting to get hold of that but of course the um, mat is key as well and you need to make sure that well if you excuse the pun it is keyed with the sticky mat adhesive this will give you enough tack for it to hold your paper or cardstock in place so you can get that smooth action with your cutting without having a detrimental effect 349 at 174 being that all important item number um, now a question for you Noel Okay. I thought of it while we were over there when we were looking at one of those projects. Glitter cardstock. Can you cut glitter cardstock? Sometimes yes. you get like a smooth one that's encapsulated. Yeah, you can. Yep, you can as long as it's not going to sort of um, damage the blade. It's not like the gritty, gritty. If it's not really gritty. Yeah, yeah, it should be fine. I mean, we, we do a lot of vinyls with glitter in them as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that should be okay, but it, it will probably damage your blade yes. more quickly than yeah. paper would. It's more abrasive than yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. There you go. So what I want to show you now is um, a bit of artwork where it's for people who really aren't artistic like me, who probably couldn't draw a, a particular shape. So you can print something off the internet, obviously copyright free okay, yeah. um, artwork, and then reproduce that um, using your gyro cut tool. Now, what I've done here is cut a stencil. You've cut this? Yeah. That wow. Was a, I did that this morning before I came here. So would it take <laughs> a long time to do something no, like that? No, it took me about 15 minutes maximum. No way. Way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, you're down with the kids. <laughs> okay. So, this is um, 100 micron uh, mylar. Okay. 
um, and hopefully you can see that because it is see-through obviously yes um, yeah. what we've done is a heart of hearts lovely um, so great for Valentine's Day of course yes um, and uh, all we do I'll show you how we actually do that put it back onto there okay. put that to one side for a moment lovely and we've got um, the artwork that I printed off the internet this is um, copyright free okay. um, uh, artwork obviously you m make sure it is that and it's just a piece of um, photocopy paper okay. and we've taken our 100 micro mylar and put sticky mat adhesive on the back of it using oh, uh, an old bit of kitchen sponge let it dry for 20 minutes and then we put the mylar over the artwork mm -hmm. smooth it down so now we, we know that the mat's already sticky so now we put the sticky mylar on top so that's like a sandwich to yes. hold everything together okay. smooth it down and then we use our gyro cut tool again like a pen mm -hmm. and we draw around the shape you take your time because you, you know when you're using mylar or acetate you can slip and because it's quite slippery material and you don't want to run on and lose your shape so just take your time go around as if you're drawing it it's amazing how the blade just twists and turns where it, it is. needs to. It's like a bit like a caster on a chair. When you have a chair with a caster and you move it around, the caster wheel follows the direction that you push the chair in, and it's that principle that allows the blade to follow your hand. So I've just cut two hearts there. Okay. We just take the mylar off there, and hopefully oh, you can you see... Go the two hearts that have been cut okay, out. Okay, look at that, them cut there. Yeah, so you can see how quickly you can do it and literally in 15 minutes you've cut the whole thing out. Now the other thing is that because you've made the mylar sticky with sticky mat adhesive, mm -hmm. when you use it as a stencil, it's already got the stencil glue on it. See, I was just thinking that. All my stencils at home, I'm, it could do good, doing like a coat of the sticky mat, mat adhesive yeah, on perfect there, especially for that. if you're doing things that multiple repeats of it. Yeah, so that, that will actually work as a stencil glue so I can put that onto wherever I'm going to paint push it down mm -hmm. and then paint through and then take it back off again, move it, paint through again. So you've got a repositionable Brilliant, adhesive idea. that's temporary and repositionable. Now, um, what, I, what I do to store the stencil is I take one of these wonderful oh, things. Oh, like the poly pockets. Yeah, yeah. the pocket. And you put the Mylar stencil onto that and that's it, store, good for Clever. storage. So it doesn't stick to anything else. Okay. Um, I use these quite a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I, should, oh, I better get rid of that, put that stencil away safely, so I'll finish now, it off later. With the, the obviously the, the sticky uh, matte adhesive yep. and you've popped it on there, how often do you have to reapply that? When, will it lose its tack? Yeah, it's a good question. So it'll actually stay sticky for many, many months. Okay. Now, it will obviously get bits of dust on it, bits of paper debris or mylar or whatever you're cutting. So every so often you give it a wash with a wet microfiber cloth, just oh, okay. a microfiber cloth with water, that's all rub the surface that'll take any debris off the mat and then when it's dry it'll be sticky again okay so you just treat it the once for many months of use now initially as it says on the instructions we recommend giving it two coats okay with about 20 to 30 minutes in between each coat um, that just builds up the right level of stickiness for sort of paper and thin card and that mm -hmm. type of thing um, if you're using a machine mat, same thing, give it a clean before you apply sticky mat adhesive. You haven't got to take the old glue off first. See, that's useful to yep. know. You yeah. can apply it with your sponge evenly, finish off by dabbing, let it dry, and then that's good to go. Well, in fact, where are we now? It's about 20 to the hour. So the sticky mat, the, the green yeah. mat that you used earlier on, will that be ready to actually Should use be, now? Should yep. be, So if I bring that over, and you, you can, right you can feel the level of stickiness oh, there. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> if I put it on the mat, not on the other mat, and that is that's it, fresh. Now, obviously, you've it used the mat like here, that, yeah. but wow. So that's that's perfect, ready to go now. That that's, is brilliant. That's just the one coat, but if I wanted to do, as I say, card or, or, yes. or mylar, I'd give it another coat. Okay, but, really good um, idea. So, uh, and if you do want to get more of that sticky mat adhesive, we have got a twin pack for you. <coughs> so obviously, we've got a single pack that does come with the bundle that we've been chatting about at the bottom of the screen. But if you do want to invest in a couple of extra bottles, then the details by the side of your screen are what you're wanting, 349174. So going back to the, you call it a Polly Pocket, do you? Polly Pocket, I don't know if okay. that's the official name, but it's somewhere along okay, the way. Okay, we'll call it Polly Pocket. <laughs> anyway, these are cheapest chips to buy, that's so right. you can buy like a box of 100 for next to nothing. Yes. And I use these all the time. So what I've done here is I've cut the Polly Pocket with my gyro cut around all the way around the edge, mm -hmm. so it gives you two sheets. Ah. So I've left that on so you can see where it is because it's yes. see-through, otherwise yeah. you lose them easily. But that's just one piece of plastic now. And I put my sticky mat adhesive on there with an old bit of kitchen sponge okay. evenly. I've let it dry so you can feel that it's sticky. Yes. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's nice and sticky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to use some sticky back vinyl. Now, I use uh, this a lot yes. because I build model aeroplanes, radio controlled aeroplanes. Oh, and we use this for making our roundels and yes. our decals and our stickers for our model aircraft and numbers and lettering and all, all that sort of stuff. But equally, you can use this, this material for crafting, for card making, scrapbooking. Um, planner stickers, that sort of thing. lunch boxes, that anything, anything yep. that yep. the kids are taking to school. You need to put a name on that. You do, it? and yeah. it's, it's perfect for that. So mm. the mat sticky. We'll put the vinyl onto the sticky mat, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a circle. Okay. Don't know if Karen's got a bigger circle here. No, we'll use this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll go around once with the gyro cut around okay. the inside of the circle. Now you're cutting multiple layers when you're cutting um, vinyl because obviously you've got the vinyl, the, the well, adhesive yeah. and the backing. Correct. So now that's cut through that perfectly. So there's my circle. And was that just one rotation you did One rotation, wow. yeah. I, w I only do one rotation because you, you get a perfect circle that yes. way. If you, you can do two rotations. I noticed Karen does quite a lot and that's fine. But she ten, tends to use um, thicker materials than me. Yeah. So just to be sure, she goes around twice or three times. And just be careful that the disc doesn't move when you do that, because if it does, you won't get a perfect line-up at the end. Could you put any of the sticky adhesive stuff on the end of the you, circle? You, you could. I don't tend to do that. What I do, if I'm, gonna, if I'm going to um, hold the um, circle down, I'd just use a bit of masking tape in three okay. positions around the outside, mm -hmm. uh, just to make sure it doesn't move at all. And also, being MDF, it could draw it in, I well, suppose. It's, it's, ply, yeah. it's plywood. Yeah, but yeah, I would say, yes. You'd have to be put quite a few coats on that yeah. for it to work, because it's porous, yeah. as, you, as you rightly say. So, okay. we've, got, we've got our circle on the mat. I'll get some red vinyl now mm -hmm. and put that onto the mat and we'll cut out a shape. Now, okay. um, I'm renowned for doing my monster foot shape. Oh, a monster foot? What's yeah. a monster foot like? Did, was that, was that set up enough for you there? <laughs> show me yeah. a monster foot. Okay. It's kind of like that. Oh, yeah, that's uh, pretty monsterish. Yeah, monster foot, <laughs> yeah, big foot. Whatever you're okay, so we now... Um, Leave that on the mat. Okay. Because if you take it off the mat and you peel the backing paper off, it tends to stick to itself or yeah, stick it to your hand. Yeah, kind of pulls round, yes. Exactly, and then, then it's, uh, it's ruined your artwork. So we leave it on the sticky mat. Okay. We take our sticky poly pocket, which mm -hmm. is actually, we call it a transfer sheet. Oh, and we I see. lay it over the vinyl and just smooth it down onto the vinyl sticker. Make sure that you take your time at this point because okay. you want to make sure that you get the sticker. And then you peel it off. <gasps> no. And if I can get hold of the backing paper. You leave the backing behind and you've got the sticker wow. on the transfer sheet. Now I've got complete control of that sticker now. It's not going to stick to itself or anything else. I can position it exactly where I want it. So if I now put that onto my white vinyl yes. and we put it down exactly where we want it and then start in the middle and work outwards, we can smooth the vinyl down onto the other vinyl below. Uh -huh. Again, take your time here because what you don't <coughs> want is bubbles or wrinkles. Mm -hmm. um, and by using this method, you shouldn't get that. So now you peel the, you know, leave the white behind and just you know, take in the whole just thing. Just need to kind of get your, the edge. Yeah. Get your, that's it. There I've got you it. go, get some curves. Now peel on that it. off. Look at that. And that's left you with um, no bubbles or wrinkles, and you've got your red vinyl on your white vinyl. And now, in, in my case, I'd want to put that onto my model aircraft, yes. but you might want to put it onto a card. So if we take um, a piece of card stock, this is 200 GSM mm -hmm. card, we'll put that onto the mat, and we want to apply that. Actually, I won't be able to see it on that because it's the wrong colour, isn't it? So let's put it onto this red stock instead. Okay. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Perfect. Okay, so we now take our transfer sheet mm -hmm. and we put it onto the vinyl sticker. This is brilliant. And put, again, take your time at this point because you want to make sure that you get the whole thing and now peel it up from the edge. It's left <gasps> the backing paper behind yeah. and I've now got the sticker and on the transfer it. sheet. And you can position it. You've got complete exactly. control. So I can, uh, yeah, I can position that. If, I, if I'm working on my model aircraft, I can position it exactly where I want it on my model aircraft. But if you're working on a card, you want to orientate it, put it yeah. in exactly the right position and then when you're happy, you put it down, work from the, in, from the middle outwards and smooth it down onto the card that and is then we ingenious. peel the whole thing off and that's exactly where you want it. Now, you, there's no glue on there. The glue stays on your transfer yeah. sheet and that's it on the card ready to go. That is fabulous because I, I've had to buy transfer um, sheets and tapes and I get myself into yep. ever such a pickle because it kind of wraps around on itself. Exactly. But using one of those polythene pockets, absolutely brilliant. And it's very, very cheap. And, yeah. and uh, if, if it does get dusty, you can give it a wash with a wet cloth yeah. again. But I just use another, a, a new one. Um, and uh, that'll last for, for many, many months. Fabulous. So just take the backing paper off the mat using your gyro cut blade in each case. 
and that's it, ready, ready to go and for your next project. And all done with that sticky mat adhesive. So it's not just for your mat. So, of course, when you get your mat home, you've got a bottle of this within that starter kit, details of which are at the side. You're also going to have your gyro cut and your replacement blade with that one. And um, if you're wanting more of this, we have got more of it available. Now, step away from Noel for just for a few moments. It gives you the perfect opportunity for you to get these into your baskets because we've got a duo set. So your two bottles there, you can see your sticky mat adhesive there. Now you've realised that it's not just for your green um, cutting, uh, your self-healing mat or whatever colour you've got. You will use this in so many different ways. I'm going to use it so much as that transfer application. Now I'm just blown away by a brilliant idea. 349 or 174. If you are wanting your twin pack, just £10.99, pence, you will get a bottle within the starter kit, but I think you will need more of that as time goes on, and especially if you're using it with your other sticky mats as well. So there you go. What a brilliant idea, but you are getting a bottle of it within your starter kit. So your starter kit that we've spoken of, you've got your gyro cut blade there, your pen, which you're literally going to hold just as you would with like a pen. This is why it's such a popular um, tool to use within schools and within the education system because it's just so easy for children to use with regards to it. Really is a brilliant idea. You can see how you can create your own masks, create your own stencils with these, use it for cutting out your own decoupage. As Noel just showed, showed us, if you're into model making, making your own decals with this is ingenious, a brilliant idea. And as I say, if you are cutting out our, um, elements that you're wanting to transfer over, then using it as a transfer medium, as you saw there on those polythene pockets a brilliant idea so you've got your your blade within there now um, of course when it comes to you if you're using it on your lighter weight paper maybe your vellums um, you're looking at probably about 90 gsm you've probably got about three months worth of use within that one blade that comes with it you do get a replacement blade so you're looking at perhaps up to six months worth of cutting a precision cutting should I say with this um, but of course if you are using other mediums you might find that it dulls the blade if you're using things like encapsulated glitter um, heavier weight cardstock it might not last that, but you're looking at uh, between three and six months per, well, obviously with the dew over the blades that we've got here. Then you've got your sticky mat adhesive. This is brilliant. As we saw at the top of the hour, um, Noel used that on his um, self-healing cutting mat and it got the surface just perfect for him to actually put the paper um, and cardstock on there. Lots of you are going through a duo set of this one. We have got the details at the bottom of the screen for those. So if you're wanting to get two bottles of those, we have got those available for you. Love the size of this because it's a really nice size that can go into your craft bag. So maybe go for the duo set. You'll have one in your craft room kept at home and then also one that you can take on your travels with your craft a mat. As I say, try it on your quilting rulers as well. I think it's going to be a brilliant idea if you're cutting, if you're doing a plique or anything like that, because it's not going to interfere with your fabric. I'm going to head over and see what Karen's up to. Why not jump onto the website? You'll be able to see the starter kit that we're talking about. You'll be able to see your duo pack there as well if you fancy adding those in. And of course, if you do want any paper crafting in, um, inspiration, we have got some paper cutting guides, as you can see there as well. But do pop any of those elements into your basket. Check those baskets out though, folks. We are very, very busy. Um, um, and uh, yeah, if you're wanting to, to know a few more ideas, well, about with Karen, and we're going to have a little look at some different techniques, perhaps um, ways that you might use them in a crafty environment. Now, just to give you a little bit of time to check, we've got about four and a half minutes. Yeah, I understand we're short of time. Um, so <laughs> I recognise Graphic 45 when I see it. I saw it over there, I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely stuff, oh, isn't it's it? Really fabulous gorgeous. card. And um, paper, well, card, really. It is, is a it's card, way, yeah. Yeah. A, a, yeah, absolutely, a scrapbooking card. So um, I've just taken a scrapbooking sheet. I've taken bits out of other scrapbooking sheets to okay. put together. So when you're doing your own journal, scrapbooking thing, just lovely to do to use. So bits and bods, taking a postcard bit to put your writing nice. on. Obviously, you might want to stick oh, a photo a on. Oh, it's a bit of an old one, but oh, it's there. Where's this? It looks a fabulous Silk place. Silkham, actually. Oh, lovely <laughs> place, yeah. Um, and a fussy cut, the, the beach rules, and, and uh, what a, wonderful a little thing world. there. And then, basically, I thought, right, let's have a bit of fun, make it a bit more personal. Okay. So, Okay, so I thought, okay, what are you going to do? Um, wallpaper. Okay, right. All sorts of lovely wallpapers as well as wrapping way papers. For you. Okay. So I'm going to choose a van. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And I'm going to take that round. And just trace around the design. This is a clever oh, idea. If you've got any leftover wallpaper, you could be taking an, an element like that in one of those little black square frames that we saw earlier on. Perfect artwork to go on a wall. It certainly is. And yeah. And you can make little pictures to mm. uh, to to bring in the design. 
in a room. Sorry, I'm just trying, trying to speed this one because no, obviously I don't want to. Um, no, that's fine. I'm just blown away watching that. I mean, the techniques that we've seen from both Karen and Noel, if you have just joined us, oh, you've missed some amazing demonstrations. We've been um, using the gyro cut to cut everything from vellum uh, to cutting cardstock to cutting things like um, your... Um, Double, um, your self adhesive vinyl. Um, now, this brilliant idea that looks fabulous. And then just to make sure, oh, you've got photograph. Photo. Yeah, so okay. you mentioned earlier, yes. so I didn't want to uh, didn't want to miss that out. So so that the, the doggy doesn't get missed out Aww. basically. Always part of your day. Then you can take that round as well. Sorry, the light's just shining no, that's on okay. there, so she'll shift okay. so I can see. Don't take an ear off. Wouldn't want to do that. Oh, definitely not. And then take that down. This is ingenious. I mean, the fact that you can cut to such fine detail, and that's a really good card. Nice uh, shot. It's got glossy finishes as well. So yeah. look at that. And then, of course, you can pop him. Let me show you in that. the window. <laughs> oh, look! There's a spring of him there. Actually, sitting in the camper van there. Look at that. <laughs> as you can see there, but the <laughs> fine detail that you've got from that, I mean, every little area cuts to perfection and so speedily. That's the key thing with this. That's the thing. It makes it more fun. Yeah. It's not It's not the drudge of, of, of little pairs of scissors and twisting and turning, etc. It's just more fun. It is brilliant. And you can use it in so many different applications as we've seen. I mean, scrapbooking, perfect for all your embellishments. Absolutely. Card making, as we saw. Decoupage sheets as well. Oh. I mean, that's something else that can yes. be quite tricky to cut out, isn't it? All those finer details yes, that you've got. I do believe got. we have one. All those kind of wispy edges oh, to flowers no. and different things. Apologies, it is a Christmas one. And I know oh, we're all okay. done with Christmas, but even that's, so. That's not a problem at all. There you go, yeah. Marvellous. And pick something, I don't mind. Let's do this bow because you can see what's going on there. Okay, do. So you've got your curves, corners. Wonderful. Now, um, we are rapidly coming to the end of the hour. Um, now, have you only got this one hour with us today, Karen? Just the one today. Oh, I'm sure you're going to be back again soon because we need to see more with regards to this. I'm going to bring Noel in as well because, of course, we are coming to the end of the hour, the last minute of the hour. Now, will she get this cut out in time, do you yes, think, Noel? definitely. And there it goes, cut out to perfection. Really is a brilliant oh, the idea. Top of the bow, dark. Oh, tiny bit Almost of the bow. Perfection. <laughs> there's a pressure, the pressure of lighting. There you go. Well, well, I have well to say thank you to both thank of you. you. I mean, the applications that you've got from this phenomenal. Um, I mean, the results that you guys have seen here, you could be getting those results in the comfort of your own home, whether you're into your decoupaging, whether it's your scrapbooking, whether it's your model making and your decals. So many different ways you can work with it. Yep. Really is yeah. brilliant. You Absolutely. must get some fabulous results from it. Response, you should have said. We do. Our customers love it. Yeah, so that's great. But, but please send us some artwork if you do use it. We'd yes, like to yeah, love to And check it. you guys out on social media. Definitely. Like social yep. media. Yeah. yeah, definitely look out for that one. I will see you a little bit later on. I'm sure we'll see you two both again very, very soon. Just make sure you check out your baskets. We're really busy.